Welcome back to the Deliverance Network. Thanks so much for joining with us today. And I wanted to share a couple of experiences with you today that just tie again into the times that we are entering. And I've spoken before about them being the time of the feet, those ten toes of Daniel, and tied to the times of Revelation. And this particular dream experience I'm sharing uh, from 2003 didn't make a lot of sense to me at the time, but as I unlocked the symbolism of the dream, I think it is very much tied to the times we're in, especially because I'm starting to see things unfold now. We're getting a lot of messages from heaven as to warnings for things that are coming, and that we have entered into those definitive times of times uh, where God is going to do some major work, and perhaps that elimination of conscience is not far off. And uh, also some talk, of course, of the difficult times we're going to be facing with regard to uh, governments and perhaps that world order, things I've spoken about before and a lot of people are talking about in prophetic circles. And in this experience from the April the 26, 2003, I was just shown that a monster's pen had been unlocked and I, and I saw that this ancient monster's pen has been unlocked and released and then he's coming, he's going to devour his prey. And it was like the seals or the gate to his pit have been opened and that he's coming to devour all. And I was shown basically this monster flying about the room and just trying to devour people, to devour souls. And I've witnessed quite a bit to the truth of Satan and demons, something that people uh, have liked to explain away in our time and say that, ah, that doesn't really exist. Satan and demons and evil as an entity unto itself is uh, not true. Evil is more of a concept. It's just the bad choices of people. No, I'm very much coming and saying, as the church has always taught, that Satan, Jesus himself, is a real person, that fallen angel, and that some of the angels of heaven followed him in the fall, and so they are the demons that, that we speak about, and our exorcists are constantly working against in the Catholic Church. And I've also testified to the fact that we, as God's children, especially we choose to follow God and Jesus, have ultimate power over them, and this is not to fear, but to be aware but in this I was shown that basically a seal had been broken and that this creature was coming out to devour. And in it, it was basically this large black squid as the symbolism of the dream that I was shown. And when I looked it up after, the squid definition was basically a 10-armed marine cephalopod. And so I, I really was reflecting on this dream experience after why was it the symbol of a, of a black squid and the ten arms and I've I started reflecting on the ten toes of Daniel in um, the, of course the book of Daniel in the Bible so please check that out and read that and I've spoken to it again before where I had binoculars showing me a time coming and it was the time of the feet and again it's that figure where there's the different portions of clay etc iron meaning different rule and rulers in the world over salvation history and that the feet were the last rulers the last period and of course um, if you've done any more serious delving into that in the biblical prophecy realm you um, probably have tripped upon the theme of the ten toes of Daniel and having the one head over these ten regions in perhaps a new world order and I don't want to speak to that too much because that's already covered quite a bit out there in Bible prophecy but I urge you to do some research of your own and in uh, sharing this dream experience and pondering what the theme of it is because that that um, ten-armed squid had a distinct head as well and of course I believe the new coming world order is going to have behind the scenes Satan as his head I have another dream that I want to share more for you to perhaps take to your priests or discuss with others or maybe you can give me some insight if it has any uh, imagery that means something because I don't have enough knowledge to know if this means anything but it was a very distinct detailed dream experience this one from March the 1st 2009 and it had Jesus and Mary in the dream. So I'm going to share it with you briefly. And then I invite comment if it has perhaps any symbolic meaning. If it doesn't mean anything, we can discard it. Uh, but I've been wondering and pondering about it, especially the times that we're in now. And basically, I was brought in the dream and I saw a large dark gray, dark gray marble statue that had Jesus and Mary on it. 
It had a huge square chunk of marble at the bottom and a large marble cross on the top. I saw it in a flash and it was sitting in a river. And as I saw it, I knew that it had Jesus and Mary and it, I said in the dream it may have been the Pieta image and I've, I've learned a little bit about the Pieta image since then. And then I saw briefly that this statue was on the bank of the river and I knew in this dream vision that this was sent to me as a sign of something but I do not understand the sign. So I turned again to the river and I saw the statue was placed back in the river again but this time only Jesus stood on the marble base in front of the cross. And the statue was placed in the middle of a clear calm river of shallow water, maybe six feet deep. The river looked like an ancient sluiceway. It was completely rock lined riverbed, so it was all rock, the base, the sides, everything. And it looked like granite or shale. It was almost like a canal. And then there were horizontal grooves that were etched out of previous water levels, showing how the water had been higher. But basically it looked like a 12 foot canal, it had uh, a stone canal and a river, and a small stone bridge that was across this riverbed. And I was shown at the end of this dream experience that the water was now at the hem of Jesus' garment as I saw him on the statue and that the water would rise to cover the statue and that these grooves would only hold the river in if it hold if it uh, didn't go any higher than the top groove at the same side of the stone side of the river and it would flow over into and then the water couldn't be contained anymore by the, the stone rocker channel and that was sort of the extent of the dream I'm gonna publish it in writing on the deliverance network so that it's up there uh, with its specific detail for perusal. Uh, but I ponder that and I wonder, does this have any spiritual meaning that I'm unaware of? And uh, if not, we can discard that. But I just wanted to put it out there and share it with you that I experienced that. And again, from 2009 and at that time, the first Sunday of Lent. So again, another very important time in the church. So I'm sharing all of this with you again today, not to inspire fear, but to inspire um, people to stay fast with their faith in the times that come no matter what comes it is the true place of safety it is uh, the place of beauty the things that await us in heaven let me tell you are far beyond anything you could experience here so try to remember that through the struggles and to offer your sufferings if you are not doing that on a daily basis offer your day to God in reparation and atonement for sin I offer particularly an atonement for sin against the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary because your offering of atonement for any sufferings that God has chosen to send you, and believe me the last few months for me have been very difficult with suffering, uh, then it's not lost. We are offering it up for the salvation of souls and this is a huge thing. So I want to inspire you to do that if you're not doing that on a daily basis already. And so again, not sharing this in, to inspire fear, but to inspire motivation to go deeper in the journey, deeper with your relationship with Christ and to trust, to trust in God that created the universe. He hasn't gone anywhere. He's still with us. So may God bless you. Thank you for journeying with us. And again, don't forget to like us, share us, and subscribe if you haven't already. And God bless you today and in your journey. God.